And for many people, there'll be no sweeter sound than that of organ pipes when the Metropolitan Roman Catholic Cathedral is competed in Liverpool. The church was started five years ago, and it's being built of granite and brick, the granite from Penryn in Cornwall. Although over four million bricks have been laid so far, the finished parts only come up to ground level. The granite is shipped, rough-hewn from the Cornish quarries and shaped on the site, and the heavier the slab, the greater the ease with which it's handled. This three-ton rolling gate, for instance, can be moved into position in ten seconds. But a century will have rolled by before the mighty edifice is completed. When that happy day arrives, the Metropolitan Cathedral will be an imposing reproduction of this model. Liverpool's Protestant Cathedral was started as long ago as 1904. It's made of sandstone, all quarried locally, and large band saws cut through huge blocks of it at the rate of about a foot an hour. Less than half the number of men are working on the building now than before the war, but some have been engaged from the beginning, 36 years ago. While some are busy with delicate traceries, Others are directing large slabs of stone into position. The octagonal shape of the massive tower is now becoming visible. This is the great work that has been slowed up by two wars, but a large new section will soon be finished, leaving only the nave to complete an historic undertaking. <laughs> 